let us discuss or let us see how we can calculate the subnet with the IP pattern. So here let us take an example of the IP 192.168.123.54 with subnet mask 255.255.255.248. Now see this may not be important for the exam but it is a very interesting topic. So if you want to skip this, I won't stop you but what's the harm in learning something isn't it? So please stick around. So we have the IP address 192.168.123.54 that is the decimal representation for us. And when we convert that into IP binary, we get this binary form or the 32 bit address binary form here. So 192.2's 8 bit representation is this, 168 is this, 123 is this, and 54 is this. And the subnet that we have taken is 255.255.255.248. So its binary is this 111181s, 81s, 81s, and 51s and 30s. So now what we need to do is a binary and operation on these two, on these two in the sense these two. IP binary and subnet binary. So I hope all of you are aware of what is binary and operation. Uh, it's like multiplication. Okay, so with one multiplied by one, you get one and others will be zero because we have zeros and one only in binary, isn't it? So when you multiply zero with zero, it's zero. Zero with one is zero and only one multiplied by one is one. Okay, so we have to multiply or we have to do a binary and on IP binary and the subnet binary. So if you start from here, so zero, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So it will be 0, 0, 0. So four zeros and uh, these two are also 0 because this has a 0 and 1, 1. So sim similarly, if you try to multiply all these things, you will get this type of representation. Okay. So we have multiplied this now, both of them uh, by using the binary and, and we have performed this operation. And now the value that we get here is 192.168.123.48. Okay. So this is the subnet address. Okay, for us, this is the subnet address now. And the subnet binary that we have is this one that we have already uh, captured before. So now we will divide this into the network address part and the host part. And that host part also, as we discussed previously, can be divided into two parts. That is for the subnet part, the five bit subnet and the three bit host. So three bit host that you see here starts from 000. Okay, so this is 000. Remember this very carefully and the IP binary that you have here also this one, this IP binary I'm saying, not this one. Okay. So this is the subnet binary I'm saying, subnet address binary I'm saying. Okay. Not the one that we had already taken before. Okay. So this one actually starts from 00110000. Okay. So this is the one that we have generated using the binary and. Okay. So this will be the first IP address. Okay, so this is the 48 becomes the first IP address for us. Similarly, we will calculate the next IP addresses and that is the most important and interesting part. Okay, so you imagine, I hope you remember binary addition. Uh, so we will do this right now. Let's go to the next slide. So now you can read along with me that our first IP will be 48 and that is with 5 bits of subnet and 3 bits of host. So you see 3 bit 000 is 48 and the next IP will be determined by adding plus 1 to the 3 bit host. Only to the 3 bit host, not to the subnet. Remember that. Okay. And we are going to add 1 to only to the 3 bit host. So it will be now 001 for the first one. Okay. If you combine 00110 plus 001, it becomes 49. So this is our second IP. So we have calculated the first IP that turns out to be 48 when we combine both of them. And once we combine both of them on the second one by adding plus one, we get 49. Okay. Similarly, similarly, we have all the address ranges here. So similarly, when we add plus one again, it becomes 010 and that is 50. So upon adding one more, then it becomes 100. That is basically 52. Then it becomes 53 and then it becomes 54. Stop right there. And the last one that we have is yes 55 and that is the last one and i'll tell you why and why that is last because adding one more will change the subnet itself it will change from 00110 to 00111 that is where we should stop it and we'll not move forward because it is not acceptable and as i've already mentioned before it has one network address that was 48 that was the first one that we have and it also has one last one that is the broadcast address or the broadcast ip 
so that becomes 55 okay so 55 is our broadcast ip and 48 is our network ip and out of all these ips that we have we have 49 50 51 52 53 54 and these are the ips or the six ips that are usable hosts and now you can also try this by doing calculations from your side and trying to find out if I use a particular IP address and a particular subnet mask or the subnet group that we have, then how many IPs I can determine from there itself. So now let's check the slash 16 based subnet and let's see how that works. So now let's suppose we have the CIDR for 192.168.0.0 slash 16 and you must remember that the CIDR value ranges from 0 to 32. And it's not different from the IP pattern subnet actually that we saw just now. So if you see here, you will realize that the subnet 255.255.0.0 slash 16 is called slash 16. So when you say slash 16 or 16, it means that it has 16 ones in the subnet binary pattern. Okay, so when you convert this into 32 bit representation, you will see it has 16 ones and the rest are all zeros and it means that the values that are with the zeros these zeros these two parts are the ones that are going to change when you create subnets out of it or when you create the ip patterns out of it so that is why here in the diagram if you see 255.255.0.0 if we convert that into 32 bit representation we have 11 or 11 like this is 8 ones and 8 ones and uh, all the rest of them are 0 and if we use the IP range of 192.168.0.0 the last IP that we will get is 192.168.255.255 and that is where we say that only the last two bits are going to change because there is nothing to be available here because it is already packed okay so you cannot accommodate more than this because there is no range itself and with this ip range you can see there are a lot of hosts that we can calculate that is around 65536 ips so that's a huge amount of hosts but how did we get this value then so there is a very simple formula for this so slash 16 is 2 to the power of 32 minus the subnet value that is here 16 so it's 2 to the power of 16 so basically 32 minus 16 is uh, 16. So 2 to the power 16 is 65,536 hosts. And similarly, so here we have slash 18 that is 2 to the power of 32 minus 18 that is 14. So 2 to the power of 14 which allows 16,384 IPs. And similarly we have slash 24 which allows 256 IPs and we have 32 that is 0 so 2 to the power of 0 is allows actually 1 IP and we have 2 to the power of 32 minus 0 so it allows all the IPs okay so when you see when you see this 16 or 18 or 20 try to imagine by converting that into the 32 bit address uh, representation so bit representation that you have and imagine that they have 24 ones and the rest of them are 0 so how you can imagine this is basically so if you divide 32 into 4 parts you will have 8 binary representation bits isn't it so you have to imagine like if i take 16 then 16 ones will represent two spaces of the ip block and the next two will be usable or it will be used or it will change so when i talk about slash 16 here i tell that last two numbers can be changed or will change and when i talk about slash 24 so 24 actually covers three parts of the 32 bit representation okay so then the last last number will change or the last part will change so if you see it allows only one ip then no number changes you have to use the same ip address and if you see here it allows all the ips and all ips all the all numbers can change okay so there are no ones here and all the places that you see are zeros in all the four parts of the 32-bit address representation okay so that is how we actually try to remember these things mm -hmm.